As we mentioned earlier, a group of army officers appeared on national television in the West African nation of Gabon to declare that they have taken power. Their apparent coup comes right on the heels of Saturday's election in which the long-reigning president, Ali Bongo, was declared the winner by the country's electoral commission. But the political opposition immediately claimed that was fraudulent. And the army officers said they're canceling the results. Significantly, Mr. Bongo's overthrow would end his family's 53-year-old power and hold on power that is in the oil-rich Gabon. Here's more from the announcement. Au nom du peuple gabonais. In the name of the people of Gabon and as guarantors of the institutions, we have decided to defend peace by putting an end to the current regime. To this end, the general elections of 26th of August and a truncated results are cancelled. The borders are closed until further notice. All the institutions of the Republic are dissolved. Now we're joined by Chris Okamaringa in Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of Congo, neighboring there. Uh, Chris, just about one minute before we have to go on a break, we'll continue afterwards here. What's known? Um, just to jump into it, these soldiers said they were going to be dissolving all institutions of the republic. What's known about the president's whereabouts right now? Well, the latest we have heard is that President Ali Bongo is now under house arrest. The leader of that coup, who is the, the head of the presidential guard, made this announcement a few minutes ago and said that uh, uh, many people uh, should remain calm, that they are going, they have formed a transition committee to restore all the state institutions. Uh, during the announcement on state TV, these military officers said that they had canceled, they dissolved all state institutions and shut down the country's borders. Mm. Very many people in Gabon took to the streets of Libreville to celebrate this announcement uh, which uh, they said has you know has been long in coming many people have been very frustrated with the governance of the country by President Ali Bongo who has ruled for 14 years and before that his father I've, I've got to cut in on you Chris for sorry for, for coming years. to you late it's here with the connection family. we'll be back after a short break though much more to speak with you about the situation down there stay with us there we'll be coming back to going to Gabon there's an apparent coup underway right now we're just speaking with uh, a contributor Chris Okamaringa in Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of Congo, next door to Gabon there. Look, you said the, the president is now under house arrest as far as we know, but look, Gabon is one of Africa's major oil producers. I think 90% of the country, the rest of the country covered by forests. You know, what's at stake right now? You mentioned the people coming out celebrating largely. What can you tell us about the atmosphere and, and what's at stake? Yeah, so there's, there's this sense of joy among many Gabonese people that, you know, the regime of uh, or Ali Bongo has finally come to an end. I mean, these people, his father and, uh, and uh, Ali Bongo have been in power for more than 50 years. And like you mentioned, uh, Gabon is the fifth largest oil producer in Africa. It also has a number of other minerals. And uh, President Ali Bongo had signed a number of deals with multinational companies in France to carry out oil exploration and mining and a lot of this money that was coming from these companies you know was not seen to develop the country about 40 percent of the population are unemployed there's widespread poverty in the country so despite all the natural resources that they have and that is what led to the frustration and so people have been very excited about this military takeover by, by the army in Gabon and they are hoping that there will be a new leadership that will change things and bring some kind of equity in the country that is endowed with a lot of natural resources. Look, was there a sense of shock around this or was he considered to be a regime, you know, at risk? You know, I, I know that for many years he's been friendly, close even with Western leaders. Uh, look, how would you describe that situation in the long reign of Mr. Bongo? Well, Mr. Bongo's ouster has really um, led to some reactions by the international community, especially those countries that have had very good relations with him. And many people are calling on the Gabonese uh, public to respect the outcome of the election and uh, reverse what they have done, what the military officers have done. But the people there are saying they are a sovereign country. They will not listen to what the international community is saying. The Foreign Affairs Minister of France has uh, denounced this uh, 
military takeover and they are calling on the people, you know, to put some order and, you know, go back to the situation as it was. But that's something that the people are not willing to do. And this is a, a sentiment, you know, the anti-French and the foreign sentiment has been sweeping across, across many uh, former French co colonies in West Africa and Central Africa, uh, countries like Niger, which had a similar coup in, in July, and uh, Burkina Faso, Mali, have all been complaining about how uh, Western powers have had very strong relations, good relations with their leaders, and uh, who, who, who do not, you know, uh, help them to improve their, their country. Their leaders are getting money from these foreign powers, but they are not using that money to, to change their lives. And that is, you know, the, at the heart of this kind of uh, coups that have been uh, sweeping across uh, Africa. Look, on top of this, it's interesting to tie it to, you know, the other, I think this would be the eighth former French colony in just the past three years to undergo a coup right now. Obviously, the Sahel dealing with Islamist insurgencies, but that anti sort of Western sentiment running strong. Curious to ask right now, what are the relations, you know, especially with this leading the coup with Russia? Is Russia already potentially engaged or on the doorstep to step in? Well, as far as we know, we haven't heard Russia coming out to um, uh, make any statement about this. But in previous uh, coups in Western Africa, uh, Russia has been, you know, uh, advising, I mean, congratulating the leaders, the military leaders who have taken power and telling them that they will stand by them and help them to rebuild their country. They should not tolerate any foreign dominance in their country. We haven't heard any of su such statements in Gabon, but uh, generally we know that Russia has been offering to support uh, military uh, go governments in, in Africa that, you know, want to break ties with uh, especially the Western countries that are seen as enemies of, of, of uh, Russia after this, uh, the conflict in Ukraine. So we expect them, you know, to come up with a statement anytime soon. But so far, there's been nothing from them yet.